Hello everybody and welcome back to another new and noteworthy mod review. Today we're going to take a look at the Far Alpen Baler and Autoload Bale Trailer. But before that, this video is brought to you by Mark Bauer and Jack B. Thank you for being Farm Barons. The Far Baler is back yet again. This classic, which has graced multiple versions of Farm Sim, have returned for Farm Sim 22, and this time it comes back with a friend in an auto load bale trailer for this particular size bale. This particular baler does make a custom size bale, so it is completely different than the small in game Massey Ferguson small baler or other small balers that we have seen to date. And this is the perfect mod for the struggling farmer or someone who is just looking for a little bit of hay, straw, or grass to be bailed up in order to take care of a very small number of animals. This mod can be found at the FarmingSimulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the 1.0 release, this mod is available for all platforms. Let's go ahead and take a look at it in the shop. Easiest place to find it is going to be down here under mods and DLCs, as always. We're going to go on in, and we have the baler for $8,000. No configuration options. And then we have the autoload trailer for $5,000. We do have the choice of color and rim color. Then we can put a license plate on it, should we so wish. Now, as far as the bales go, the website says that it makes bales with a capacity of 300 liters. I made some grass bales, came out to 250 liters. I suspect this may be just like all the other balers or bales in the game, where depending on what you bale, the capacity is going to be somewhat different. Now, this auto load bale trailer will hold 105 of these little bales before it will fill up. It does have a rear hitch on it, so you could chain these together with respect to transport. And the baler itself, while the pictures on the website do not show this basically in operation, it has a hitch that you can also hook this baler, bale trailer directly up to. And that is exactly how I managed to fill this up. I had the bale trailer connected to the back of this baler. So let's go ahead and kind of see this thing in action. Now I have a big field of grass over here from another video that I've recently done. I filled up the first trailer using these large windrows. It doesn't work the greatest with large windrows. It's really not designed to be used with large windrows because, well, if you're going to own this little baler, you probably don't own a big mower. You probably don't own large tractors, so you need something with a small horsepower requirement, and that is exactly what this is going to do. So we're going to come up here, and we're going to have to unfold it. We're going to lower it, and then turn it on. We've got really good animations working here. a spinning flywheel rotating PTO shaft and as we bail you're going to see the bales are going to be coming up in the rear and then they're just going to drop off on the back of the uh, baler onto the ground that is one way of doing it. And then another way of doing it, like I said, is to connect a bale trailer. I'm gonna mow, or I'm sorry, I'm gonna bale this row like this. And then we're gonna hook up to the bale trailer and we're gonna go ahead and collect the bales individually. And then I want to show you one last pass where we basically use the bale trailer and the baler connected automatically. 
I uh, touched on it a little bit already. Why would you use something like this? Why not just use a big baler? Well, if you're playing a struggling farmer concept, or maybe you just are starting out with a little bit of money, or you just like to play with low horsepower equipment, this baler would be a perfect piece of machinery because it only requires 15 horsepower to operate. So even the old classic tractors that we have available would be able to bail with this particular bailer. But just in case you aren't familiar with auto-loading bail trailers, I just want to demonstrate unloading here. We have 105 brass bales. We're going to go to unload bales. Why? Then we are going to unload bales here. Why? And there we go. So now we're going to go and pick up the bales that we just made. In order to do that, we need to basically change this to operating position. So we have to hit B to go into operating position. And now we're going to be able to basically drive right alongside these bales and we should be able to pick them up. We don't want to be too far away from them. This is one way of picking them up. But I have to say, I much prefer hooking them up to the baler and then doing it all in a single pass. Go ahead and get that hooked up. Turn our baler on. Make sure where you are in operating position. Whether a bale trailer. And you'll see but basically, as the bales would fall off the back of the baler, the bale trailer is picking them up and stacking them for you. So there's no need to run back through the field and collect the bales. Now, a few tricks that I have learned from operating this thing over the last little bit is that if you're going to unload the bale trailer, it is best to disconnect it from the baler before you do that and that is because the bale trailer doesn't really seem to have any brakes on it and as such slowing down and coming to a stop can be a little bit of a problematic issue but overall it seems to work really really good I would say if you are going to unload the bale trailer in this particular type of configuration be best to come to a slow stop disconnect the trailer from the baler and then hook up to the bale trailer and then do the unloading procedure that way don't try to slow down at a fast rate of speed because it doesn't seem like the bale trailer itself has any sort of brakes and as you saw it it does tend to slide a little bit so hopefully this mod will be updated soon to correct the sliding issue that uh, that the bale trailer seems to have i'm not really sure what that means other than maybe the tires need to have some friction coefficients modified or something i don't know i'm not a modder but anyway let me know down in the comments below what do you think of this particular baby baler and auto load bale trailer Looking at the description of the bale trailer, in the shop, it seems to imply that this bale trailer is going to be able to pick up small baby bales, including the baby bales from the small Massey Ferguson baler. Go to that real fast while we are closing out the video because it makes 120 centimeter bales and this particular bale trailer 
lists that it can work with 49 to 120 centimeter bales. So this particular bale trailer may also work for the Massey Ferguson small baler, whereas the far baler is definitely making a smaller bale than the Massey Ferguson small baler. And until next time, happy farming.